Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going to be covering topics under the standard 2.2 in third grade and also under the study island topic in third grade called model multiplication. So we're going to be looking at two models or pictures or diagrams that look that help us to answer multiplication problems. Um, one is going to be a, a box and the other one is going to be groups of pictures. And so as you're looking at those two models, um, we're going to be taking notes on those, so please make sure that you're copying those down so that you can use those notes to help you out when you are looking at those two types of questions on your own. And if I go too fast while you're taking those notes, just pause and rewind so you can get cut back up, and you can even pause the video at the beginning of a question, work the problem out yourself, and then watch the video to check your answer, and that way you can get a gauge of, okay, this is types of questions I need to study more, or I'm doing pretty good, maybe I can try these on my own now. So I'm so glad that you are joining us, and let's go ahead and take some notes. The first model you might see is called an array, which looks like a section of grid paper blocked off. So an 8 by 7 means that you are going to have 7 rows of each of these going to have 8 blocks. Or you could think of it as the other way of 8 rows and each one having 7 blocks in them. So you could count by 8s or by 7s. You could count 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. Or you could count by sevens eight times to get your answer. But if you can't, if you're not good at counting by sevens or eight, you could also count each one of these blocks separately. And so if you count them, each one separately, and if you have paper and pencil, you know, you can take it off so you know you didn't miss any, then you're going to get a total of 56 blocks here by just counting each one one by one. And that's going to make C your final answer. So here is another array that shows us 3 times 4. You can see that this side of the array has is a length of 3 blocks and this side of the array is a length of 4 blocks and that's why it's a 3 by 4 array. And so you could count each row by 3's, 3, 6, 9, 12, or each one by 4's, 4, 8, 12. Or, if you're not good at counting by threes or fours, just count each block individually. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can see no matter which way I do it, I get that my final answer is 12. 3 times 4 equals 12, which is choice D. Here is another array. This array models uh, the problem nine 1 times 9, so I can see that the side is a length of 1 and my other side is a length of 9 so that's a, why it's a 1 by 9 array and so here I can count up each block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 since there are 9 small blocks there that means 1 times 9 is 9 which is choice A. The other type of model you could see that models multiplication is equal groups. So here I have equal groups, I have three equal groups of four. So that means I'm looking at what is three times four. So if I count up three times four, that means I could be looking for a picture that has three cats along one side and four along the other side. So if I look here, this first one, I have 4 and I have 3. So that's a hint right away that that's going to be probably going to be my answer since I have 3 groups of 4 up here and the sides here is 3 and 4. The way to double check that is just to count up. Do I have the same amount of cats in the problem as I do in choice W? So in my problem, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cats. And then in choice W, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cats. So they both have 12, so that means W is definitely going to be my answer, which is choice C. The next problem is another example of equal groups. So you can see here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups. 
and each group has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight soccer balls in it. So that means here that's modeling the problem five times eight. So that means if I have an example here that has five soccer balls on one side and eight on another, that could be my answer. So if I look here, I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means this choice W could once again be my answer. The way to double check to make sure 100% sure is to count up all of the soccer balls. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So there's 40 soccer balls in my problem. And I'm going to go ahead and count by fives here to make sure that there's 40 in W also. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So there's 40 in W also. So that I just double check that W is my answer, which is choice A. So in this problem, I have four groups. And in each group, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Bs. So that means this problem here is modeling 4 times 9. And so I want to see if I can find an example that has a 4 Bs on one side and 9 on another. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on this side. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on my other side. In letter X, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And letter Y, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so far I'm not getting 9 and 4. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So none of these gave me 9 and 4, which is no problem. It just means that they rearranged the Bs. And so that means here I could actually have to count them. So if I count by 9s, that's going to be 9, 18, 27, 36. There's a total number of 36 total number of 36 Bs up here. If you aren't good at counting by nines, then you just have to count each one separately. And maybe do it twice to make sure to double check yourself. And then here, I can count each row, or I can count by ones if that's easier for you. So here, each row has six, so that would be six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So once again, that W, just by chance, also has 36 Bs in it like the problem does. So that means that W is going to be my final answer, which is choice B. Here's one last problem that shows us equal groups. I have two equal groups here, and in each of the groups, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 objects. So that's going to model 2 times 9. And so as I'm looking through my answers here, I see that I have 3 here and 6. And then I have 3 on this side and 5 on this side. I have 4 on both sides here. And then I have 5 and I have 3. None of those are 2 and 9. So what that means here is if I count up all these objects in the problem, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That means 2 times 9 here equals 18. So that means either 3 times 6, 5 times 3, 4 times 4, or 5 times 3 is going to equal 18 also. So then I just have to count up all the ducks in each box to see which one also has 18. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And here choice W also has 18 by coincidence, which is going to be choice B. If you want to practice these problems at home, you can feel free to set up different problems like this where you put equal groups of buttons or skittles or some small object and then rearrange them into different arrays with different sides. So you can actually touch and feel how these work also. So I'm so glad that you joined us today and thank you. I hope you learned something new.